Hi everyone, it's Shay. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to sink your furniture into the ground. So, uh, there's an easy way to do this. And it's... This was done by... I first saw it from Reddit user Lucilia Morte. And this was also a pretty popular discovery on the Japanese Twitter. And I'll place both of the links I saw them in the description of the video for how to do this. But I figured I'd make a tutorial of it because I get this question asked all the time. <laughs> so um, we're going to be using these wooden beams to help us sink things into the floor. These beams are really unique in the fact that they function both as wall mounted items and like partitions so you can like put stuff on them reasonably well. Like I'm putting this beam on this other beam. So we're going to actually sink the beam to its lowest point on the other beam. And we're going to just keep going down. We can get that a little lower actually. Oh, not quite. Eh, there we go. Alright, now we're going to place two wall-mounted items on the wooden beams. One is going to be these bathroom tiles. And don't just like stick it anywhere. Try to stick it on this lowest beam right here. As I am so horribly attempting to do. And this demon wall scul uh, sculpture, excuse me. Now from here, we're going to grab this top beam. And we're just going to lower it into the floor. As you can see, everything's very obscured and well hidden. So um, you will have to target this manually from here. I can't select it from the D-pad very well. Like especially these bathroom tiles, you can just forget it. I'm not going to be able to target that with my D-pad. So you can target it manually from the menu if you're on PS4 or if you have a touchpad, you can do it like so. So I'm going to disable counter placement and then I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Pick it up, cancel. And the way to do this from the menu would just be to select the bathroom tiles right here from the menu, click it, pick it up, cancel. And then I'm just going to move this whole thing away. As, I, as you can see we've like semi floated this. Now the downside is that you can't dye this particular furnishing, but you can dye the bathroom tiles to any color you want to create kind of a lip. Like so, if you're feeling so inclined. Um, the other way to sink furniture into the ground is actually to have a basement. And as you can see right here, I've been floating a furniture up the square rectangular partition. So I'm going to continue floating this up for the sake of the video demonstration. And if you're not sure how to float this particular furnishing up, it is a huge pain in the butt and I have a separate unique video for how to work with this one particular furnishing really well. It'll help you get started on floating it as well as continuing to float it up. So if you'll just bear with me for a few seconds while I get it to peek through the upper floor. And this is a speed-based glitch, so I'm sorry I'm not slowing down much. But I do go through this a lot slower in other videos that I teach, where I teach, I'm specifically teaching how to float ground uh, furniture.
think that should be good. I'm gonna leave the stage panel there just in case. I'm gonna rotate this just so it stays there. If we leave and enter the house, it'll stay partially submerged through the floor. So as you can see, we're starting to create this small lip where you can like essentially make a smooth raised area if you really want to. Ta-da! Um, that's just more of a design personal preference. You can, of course, keep floating it up farther than I already have. Um, just keep in mind if the base of the rectangular partition is too close to the ceiling, the whole furnishing will just snap up to the top floor. Um, but that's all I really have to show you for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful. See you later.